Raise your hand if you have used Google Scholar. Pretty much every single academic, almost every single student would have used Google Scholar to search for literature and for research when you're writing your essay, your dissertation, or your thesis. Now, when we use Google Scholar, how much time does it take you just to find one relevant paper? You're sifting through thousands and thousands of papers that are really old or not relevant or just not really the kind of research that we're looking for. So let's imagine this. Imagine Google Scholar with an AI like ChatGPT, something that will just enhance your search capabilities. So let's say Google Scholar with AI put together and that tool is called Consensus. And I'm going to be showing you today how to use Consensus for your research, for searching for literature, writing essay outlines, bookmarking literature, and just generally finding information that's most relevant and most suited for you when you are doing your literature search. Now, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, I have mentioned Consensus a few times, and Consensus is actually an AI-powered search engine for research papers. So this is a tool that makes science accessible to everyone, so you're able to find evidence-based insights and answers without spending too much time sifting through results that are just not relevant. So in today's video, I am going to be going through a walkthrough of Consensus, looking at how I'd actually use it and best practices, and how it's going to help me work more efficiently when when it comes to searching for literature. So let's get right into it. So this is what uh, the page looks like when you first log in. So it's really nice and clean, and it really does look like a search engine that I'd use to find answers for anything. So the first thing that you can do is you can ask any research question. Now I'm going to turn off Copilot and also turn off synthesize just to kind of get a standard answer. So I'm going to ask something really specific. The examples here I think are quite generalized, but I'm going to give a really specific question that's based off of my PhD research. So um, what is the impact of IQ gap? Oops. Okay, so I've asked a really specific question about a very niche protein because I want to see what kind of results it pulls out for me. So here you can clearly see that there are these kind of bubbles and this initial kind of title is the title of the research paper. And then there's a short summary of that paper, which is really helpful. And then it also gives you information about the actual kind of paper itself. So what were the methods? So here, this is in vitro, this is an in vitro trial. Wow, this is really good. So these are all like primary research papers, which is amazing. Um, you'd also find like review papers. So this is really helpful actually. Um, and then you can also look at this bubble here, which says this is a highly cited paper. So this is actually a paper that's in the top 5% of most cited papers in the database. So that's great. It shows that other researchers within this research area really recommend this paper, so that's excellent. So you know, you can kind of sift through them. And as I do that, um, let's open this one up. So I can open this one up and look at the stud study snapshots. And this is going to give me a bit of information about the population. This is great, because I've actually had to look for papers that were from human samples only. So this is a nice quick way of getting that information, the sample size, the methods, and any outcomes. So I think I'm going to want to save this paper. So let me just save it. I'm going to make a new list. Actually, no, I'm going to save it into here. So this will kind of give me a good way of bookmarking all of my papers. So when I come to write later on, I've got this nice summary ready for me. So that's fantastic. So that's the first thing that I can do. You can also filter out the papers uh, based off of years as well. So um, I, I'm going to leave it as it is for now, but you can clearly see that you can do that uh, based off of years, off of methods. I like this. I actually really like this. Okay. Also journals and also domains as well. So different kind of research areas. So that's great. Now let me go to synthesize. So if I toggle this, what this does is it summarizes the topic, the question I've asked it, based off of 10 research papers. So these studies suggest that IQ gap one knockdown generally decreases cell motility. So that's exactly what the answer actually is. So my whole PhD was on this topic, so that's correct. That's a good sign. Um, but let's look at this consensus meter. And what this is, is it's a meter. So for this, I'm going to be using a yes or no question. And it's a consensus meter, which is a bit of a marker as to whether the question, the answer to the question is yes, possibly or no. So they analyze 10 papers and they're saying the answer is yes. And I can confirm that the answer is yes. This is great because 
when you knock down this protein, it impacts the cell um, and how kind of how much it, it binds to each other. So the knockdown of this protein is really detrimental um, to a cell. So this is absolutely yes. And there wouldn't be a single paper that would say no to this question. So I, I like this and I think it's a nice and quick way of just getting a rough idea of what the research field is saying about this topic, so that's great. So that's the first thing that you can do, you can synthesize. The second thing that you can do is you can also do co-pilot. So what I'm gonna say here is I'm gonna say, um, does IQ Cup 1 knockdown affect cell motility? And then I am going to be writing an essay in this particular topic. So I'm going to say, can you give me an essay outline for this topic? And I'm going to turn the co-pilot on. So here you're able to generate content and a bit more of a longer answer. So they've analyzed, again, analyzed 10 papers for this. So 10 of the best, most relevant papers. And okay, introduction, role of IQ gap in cell motility, ex excellent <laughs> structure effects of ICAP knockdown, uh, cell signal pathways, cancer migration. I was waiting for this because this is very closely linked to cancer. So I've li I like that they brought this in when it comes to writing an essay um, and conclusion. Okay, that's, that's a really good structure. And this is a really, to me, this is a very ethical way of using AI. You've used it to ask, to, to, you know, to find research papers, to bookmark, you can also read the research papers. And then now you're generating this amazing summary of an essay that you're going to write. You are going to write it. This consensus is not going to write your essay for you, but it's given you this breakdown, which essentially gives you a very good structure and a nice outline for the topics. And then you can, of course, read into these references. So it's given you these references and citations to support each of those sections. So let's say here, number two, I can click into number two and they're all down here. So this is number two. Um, it's relatively recent for this topic. This is not like a heavily researched topic. So 2014 is absolutely fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this paper um, within this folder again. And you can also cite the finding. So let's say I was going to write straight away. I can cite the finding and you can see you can use different formats, which is fantastic um, as well. So that's really helpful. And if you want to share it with your supervisor or share it with someone in your research group, you can also copy the link for that as well. So it makes it easy to collaborate with other people as well, which I think you don't always find on, on these types of platforms. Now that I've done my search and I want to start to write, I can take a look at the list that I have created. So I can either use the left hand side here, the tab on the side, or I can use the top button up here and I can go to my list and I only have one list at the moment but let's say I was actually writing an essay I could have my list broken up into different sections so maybe you know these are for the introduction these are for like the main body this is for the conclusion or I could chapter it into kind of different subtopics that I'll be speaking about or even in terms of different results so like these papers are the ones that are saying yes to this impact whereas these papers are the ones that are saying no so it's actually quite helpful to have a list where I can just bookmark everything so when I go into this list I can clearly see all of the different um, papers that I have cited and you know you can change the, the, the title you can export this list um, into any other referencing software that you might have that might you know that you might be using and I can also go to the list of searches that I've done as well I find this really helpful because there are so many times that I do searches in the past and I then want to kind of go back to that search again to look at the results because, you know, you never get the same result twice. Um, so yeah, this is quite helpful as well. I really like this. It's just very simple. There's not much going on, but it's just given me exactly what I need right away. And I think especially with AI tools, you know, I've played around with a ton of them at this point and I feel like sometimes some AI tools want to do everything in one go and that makes results for searching things like this not that great because the focus is kind of all over the place. Whereas I really like this, I just feel like you are able to ask any research question, get an answer for that question, have a really good summary and then even generate information like a summary for, you know, an essay or a breakdown for, you know, a conclusion or something like that. Then you can bookmark those instantly and you just have all of your research papers in one place. And genuinely, I wouldn't really need to go to Google Scholar or Google search anywhere else because I could find all of my research papers here and I know that they are 
the most relevant ones out there. So yeah, I, I really like this. Feel free to give uh, Consensus a try. I will be leaving the link for it down below. Um, so go and check it out. I know that I've mentioned Consensus a few times before, like I said, and I have had some questions about it. So I thought this would be a nice video to just summarize how you can use it. And if you have tried it before, then do let me know. And if you are looking to try it, also let me know and let me know how you found it in the past. And I hope to see you soon.